Hi friends, it is actually late November and I'm getting ready to do my last harvest of the year. Uh, I didn't think I'd be harvesting anything in November, but I actually have some broccoli and some daikon radishes to harvest out of my garden and it's getting pretty cold out here. So I'm gonna harvest these pretty quickly, but I just wanted to share them with you and just show you how things are growing in my almost dead garden for the year. So it's quite messy in the garden, but this is my um, daikon radish. And I let them kind of grow as much as I could. As you can see, they're not, I mean, I've, I've bought these radishes at the grocery store, like the normal Korean store. And they're usually huge. So these are nowhere near that size, but I'm still pretty happy that they grew. And I'm just gonna go and harvest them out of the ground and see what we get. I'm hoping they're not too hard to get out of the ground. And I would also like to save their leaves because these are edible. Let's see if I can get any of these out. They're all kind of stuck together. Here's the first one. Like I said, they're not gonna be as big as the ones I've seen at the Korean store, which, but these are also not given any kind of chemical. They're grown without any chemicals at all. So this is pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with them so far. I'm gonna say they're like, maybe eight inches long. It's hard to tell. This was the most pretty looking one out of the bunch and I'm having a hard time getting this one out of the garden. Okay, let's see if I can get you out. I don't want the ground to freeze either. And then all of these will spoil. I've read that these are somewhat cold tolerant a lot of these are just really small now. The ones that are left. Teeny weeny one. This one. Excuse me for... <sighs> My gosh! <laughs> there we go. Got that out. This is the longest one. And the last one, not so big, but still, still happy with them. Basket. This is a good amount for me. We're only a family of two people. So I don't have a lot of mouths to feed. So this is a good amount, I think, for us. The next thing I'm going to harvest is some broccoli. Um, I have never really successfully grown broccoli, uh, but these were plants in full disclosure that I bought from a nursery. I did not start them from seed. This one is looking like it's kind of getting past the time I should be harvesting it. And this one was like the worst looking one of the bunch, but I have some ca cauliflower over there in the distance too that's also needing harvesting, but today I'm strictly gonna stick to this broccoli. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut these heads out. And uh, I have it, as you can see, I have it, I had it covered in plastic, you know, which was trying to protect them and prolong their growing season as much as possible. I have no experience with harvesting broccoli, so I'm not even sure how far down to go, but I'll go down as far as I can. And here's one head. I'm pretty excited. This is the best looking broccoli. And like I said, no chemicals ever on the food that I grow. This is the not so pretty broccoli, but it's okay. I'm also planning on um, keeping all the rest of the plants, the broccoli plants, if I can harvest any good 
um, branches and leaves off of them because they're edible and I do make my own dog food so I'd like to put that in there and this was my very ugly looking one but it's okay still something it's looking like it's beginning to sprout and the last head of broccoli is right here there it is gorgeous thank you for joining me and watching my last harvest of the season i'm really excited i'm looking forward to january when i will once again start my garden i'm probably going to start with onion plants um, probably early to mid january because they take a long time to grow but I'm very excited about starting my garden up again. It's just, I wish I could grow things for as long as possible. But anyway, thank you so much for joining. If you enjoyed this video, I ask that you please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.